NSCC is a pioneer in the Gulf region. With over 40 years of construction experience, they have established themselves as leaders in specialized design and build foundation engineering works. We at NSCC are, are wired 24-7, starting from me down. Foundation engineering is different than any other business that one can actually get into, because it's a passion. We eat, breathe the company, its values, uh, what it stands for. The, the way we do business is very simple. We deliver on time, every time, and our next challenge is to deliver before time every time. Sun is up and shining. Can you change this one? 20 day three. Construction last week. This is uh, the largest uh, project uh, in terms of foundation engineering in the UAE currently. It consists of uh, about 6,500 piles. In terms of magnitude, it's uh, worth uh, about 180 kilometers of drilling, linear meter. This is, uh, this is about uh, one and a half times the distance between uh, here and uh, Abu Dhabi and Dubai. We've got uh, 11 of the uh, highest quality drilling rigs on site. An average uh, muscle force of about 30 ton meter per rig. We have also a minimum of uh, 15 cranes on site and some reach up to 80 ton. We have uh, eight uh, steel caging fabrication machines. We have a full-fledged team of uh, technical engineers, site engineers, quality and safety, full support of uh, plan, operations, design, back office support, and they are all combined together for one purpose, to meet the scope and timeline and the contract specification. We rely on a very specialized, experienced team that we have had in the company for years. Make sure that we have enough liquids and ice on site and shaded area. And if anybody... The foundation uh, industry is the specialized uh, field of expertise and we rely on equipment and resources, as in staff. The process starts when we receive a set of drawings from the engineer consisting of a pile layout and loads. These drawings are sent to the design department who generate a pile design. To design the piles, we are given load cases. The load cases include the weight of the structure itself, live load, the weight of people, equipment, wind load, and seismic loads. To design the pile, we calculate the loads on the, the group of piles. These piles will take the load, transfer it to the rock down there. The process of constructing piles begins with driving a temporary steel casing into the ground by means of a vibratory hammer suspended from a handling crane. The casing reaches its penetration limit once it reaches the bedrock level. The piling rig then drills a hole inside the casing by means of drilling tools designed and built by NSCC's in-house fabrication facility. Once the design depth is reached, the shaft is cleaned of soil sediment by means of a cleaning bucket. A steel reinforcement cage is then carefully lowered through the centre of the shaft. Thereafter, concrete is placed through a tremie pipe until fresh concrete overflows from the top of the casing. The pile construction process is complete 
once the temporary casing is extracted. In pile locations with known cavities that were confirmed through a probing process, NSCC installs permanent casings that intercept those cavities, thus limiting concrete wastage to a minimum. We have to also demonstrate that we've got the right methodology and, and, and thought process to actually probe uh, the areas on site and prove to the client that we've got what it takes to actually find the cavities in the ground and we've got what it takes to actually treat the cavities. Once the layout is approved, the first thing that we need to do is uh, commence probing. Probing is to basically try to identify the location of the cavities. Once the probing is, uh, is completed, a set of information is, uh, is relayed back to the office in order to analyze the data that has been extracted from site. And we need to discuss uh, how that affects our construction uh, team and also our design of piles. Now, we could be constructing a pile very close to that cavity. Based on that, we make a recommendation to install a permanent casing for it. The reason for installing permanent casing is to uh, contain the concrete so as not to get a lot of wastage beyond the casing circumference. Usama, we have to get concrete now from the yes, island. Okay. Khalid, no. Now, now, okay, okay. Tests on working piles are carried out using the top-down method, where a vertical load is applied by hydraulic test jacks, acting against a heavy test frame. Working piles are tested up to 1.5 times their designed workload. Settlement readings are taken at predefined intervals and recorded on-site for analysis of pile behavior. When you truly believe that you are the best, it never ends. because. You're the best for a period of about a month or two or three or four or a year. But if you can never continue to be, challenge yourself 20, on a 24 hour basis and you always raise the bar, you will lose your strength, you will lose your position. That was excellent production yeah, last week. Production. Yeah, I think if at this rate we'll, we'll be uh, safe uh, grounds. Excellent. We've got a plant department that is probably the best at the moment in the world. We're proud of it. We thrive on operational excellence. We do deliver on time every time. The pride that you have flying in and out of Abu Dhabi airport and seeing your rigs drilling on a 24-hour basis is, is in itself uh, uh, gives you so much satisfaction. We're very proud of it. <laughs>